Greetings Skyliners, Edgelords and Fridge Lords. In this tutorial, I will show you how to update NSP games with Termux. You will need Termux from FDroid, not Play Store. In this tutorial we will use material files, but alternatives can work. Link in the description of this video. First, you need to download Termux. I have put a link in there. Link. Click on it. Download and install. These are the file browsers. I have confirmed to be working with this updating method. Choose your preference. Now, copy the text I highlighted. Let's boot up Termux. Tap on allow when you get this prompt. Now, tap and hold on the command line. And tap paste. Wait a prompt to appear. Tap on allow when you get this prompt. For the next steps, you will need a file browser that supports adding document providers. Let's go and boot it. Tap on the menu icon. Then tap on add storage. Tap external storage. Your SD card, root, will be shown now. Tap on the menu icon. And then, tap the Termux icon. Next, tap use this folder. Tap on allow. Next we will copy this command. Go back to Termux, paste it in, and hit enter. This command will download, and install, all the dependencies needed, to allow Termux update the games. Keep an eye on this, because prompts will appear requiring your attention. Just write Y, for yes, on every prompt. This process will take a while, so I will fast forward to the next step. It is done. Now, all you need to do is move the prod key, the base NSP, the update NSP of the game, to a directory inside Termux root, go back to your file browser and navigate to the location of the needed files, copy the files. And navigate to the Termux home folder. Enter the switch update patcher folder. Now paste the files in here. If you are using material files, you might need to refresh the folder to make the files appear. Now, go back and copy the next command. Paste it in, and hit enter. Copy the final command. Paste it in, and hit enter. The patching process will start. If you see ROM FS, the patching will likely succeed. When the patching is done, go back to your file browser and check the file size. If the file size is bigger than the update file, then it has likely succeeded. It is possible for it to be smaller than the base, but still bigger than the update file. Now move the new file to your ROMs folder that Skyline uses. Time to test. There we go. The game is working now. Please note, the Termux method does not work for every game. Termux can be unreliable at times, using Windows Subsystem for Linux or any other Linux-based environment on Windows, is much better and works every time, if this does not work for you. Then you are doomed. This is the clearest tutorial, we could ever make for you noobs. If this tutorial worked for you, praise kimchi, 
Love him, idolize him. All hail our Lord and Savior Marcus Tech Skyline Corporations.